Tag, you're it. <laughs> hey, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Tag Tuesday. I'm here with my daughter-in-law, Lucy. And I'm here with my mother-in-law. You guys may wonder why I have a daughter-in-law or how I have a daughter-in-law. Well, Lucy's married to Phineas J. Bones. Some of you may not know who Phineas J. Bones is, but keep watching. You'll figure it out. So we have a mother-daughter-in-law tag that we're going to do. We have five questions each. So let's get started. When was the first time you realized you had a crush on Phineas J. Bones? The very first time I watched your video. I saw him and it was like, that's the man for me. Okay. What do you think of me as your daughter-in-law? I couldn't ask for a better daughter-in-law and I'm finally happy I get to meet you in person. Thank you. <laughs> what made you fall in love with Phineas? His personality. His personality is just awesome. So friendly. So quiet. <laughs> yeah, he can't talk back. No. He can't talk back. That's the best thing about a man, they can't answer back. When, if they can't argue with you. <laughs> okay. What did you think of your daughter-in-law the first time you met her? I hugged her so tight and I didn't want to let her go, but I had to hug Ellen and Michelle as well. Um, but I, I'm in awe sitting here on their porch with my daughter-in-law and I don't want to go home. You don't have to. <laughs> What did you think of your mother-in-law the first time you met her in person? I was like, I love her, and I'm so glad I met her in person. She was pacing before I got here. <laughs> and counting. <laughs> and I don't think she wants me to go home either. <laughs> no, I don't. Uh... Do you plan on having kids? I have two, so it's... I love them, and I think we should keep them, and I think two's enough. And who are they? Rex25059 and Katie Caroline. Yes, they are my grandchildren. Do you think there will be an actual wedding? I hope that someday, yes, we will actually get Bones in a tux and Lucy in a wedding dress and perform an actual ceremony. I think that would be an awesome video. We should do it at the house next door. At my house when we buy it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and set up a whole bunch of tables, mm -hmm. get all the animals with all dressed up and have doggy and cat plates of food and yeah. I think we should. I agree. What is the biggest thing you and Bones have in common? We both love Halloween. We love it. I think that's what drew us together too, is, you know, yes. we're Halloween people. Mm -hmm. So is Lucy. Why didn't you bring Bones with you? Because I would have had to pay for an extra airline ticket. Even though he doesn't breathe, drink, or eat, they still would have made me pay for a seat. And I don't think I could have fit them in my suitcase. No, you probably wouldn't. Unless you take them apart. <laughs> yeah, but then I would have had to put them all back together. And what if I put them together wrong? True. That's true. But, you know, he could have ride shotgun with me all the way up here, so then I wouldn't have been alone. At least I could have had him to talk to. Yeah. He wouldn't have talked back, but... Yeah. yeah. But then again, you know, if he could talk back, I wouldn't have been able to shut him up because he would have been talking about you the entire trip. <laughs> Anyway, that's all the questions we have. We did it about Phineas, but you can do this about your husband or fiance or spouse, whatever, or boyfriend, or boyfriend exactly. So I'm not going to tag anybody in particular, but please feel free to do this tag about your husband, spouse, boyfriend, significant other, however you wish to do it. So. 
thank you for joining us on this episode of Tag Tuesday, and we'll see you next week on another episode. Bye!